Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a basic to-do app with Vue.js. I know there are hundreds and thousands of uh, to-do demo in the in the internet, so, but for learning the Vue.js, this is a basic example that we can uh, combine multiple features of Vue.js together, and we can understand how this all together work. So if I come to my app here, I have already created one, so I will delete that one. Coming to the home that view here I will remove the hello world component from here we don't use that one if I save it for our application it will just show the logo which we have here so I will create another component coming to default I will save us the same component and we just give it a name let's say to do that view any name you can give I will give it to do and for the name of the component we say to do so why you give name here whenever you import something here also if you export something this is the to do app you have export default it is going to give you you give it a name and whenever you import it you are going to use the same name here and you append the default uh, the default name here that's why it is important you give it a name and then you can import it by the same name so for now it is to do and let's give it the class of to do's we don't need any style here so i will remove all the basic styling here so this is fine we don't use the props for this example but let it be there and then we will say uh, gi give it a basic example and the title of to do app we save it now we have our component let us register the component coming to our component here we will duplicate the same line you know view that component will reg register it as a global component it means we can use it in all our other component in the in our application so the name is to do which we give and this is going to reference to the to do that view and we save it so let's use the to do if i come to the home i will write to do here and that's all we have the new component and it will display here so if i come to the to do what I can do is you can write an input here and this input is going to it does not have to have a name or ID but placeholder what you want to do basic you have you come here here is the input and beside the input we have a button we have a button add to list if I come here it is going to be the basic example it does not have any styling for now it is fine so whenever you write something here I just want to add it in our to-do list in the previous video we learned about how you can uh, loop through data and display them so in this example oops you don't write message you write a comma here and then we write our data function our data function should return an object so this is an object and this object is going to we give it a name of to do's and this is going to be also array of the to do we are going to do for now it is empty and it does not display anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a simple like go to shop this is the first value but we will add uh, when we press in the button also so i will display that under the list here how you display this one we learned that in the previous video you use we write li here and we use the v4 directive they are they are called directives like v4 v model and stuff like that so for the v directive v4 directive we can say to do in to do's just display the to do if I save it for now coming to our application yeah go to shop is already here so this is the basic example now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say whenever uh, someone writes something here please uh, and they click on the add to list it should add that to our array here we will learn about uh, how you can add something to an array and how you can handle the event which we did in the previous videos so how you do that one now let's say we have the button here if someone click on this one 
we are going to call the function add any name you can give i just give it add and we are going to have a method area here methods are going to contain or all our functions so the first function is going to be add we will use the es6 function here so what this is going to do is this is going to add the information of the input whatever we have here and we can add that one to the array we have here how you can do that one so first of all we should be able to take the data from the input how you do that one we learned that in two way model binding so if we have a props here we okay we have data here and this data is going to have another value here let's say title and this title is by default empty so how you can give it a, okay no title let's give it okay title is also fine so what we, we are going to do is we are going to connect our title with the input here whenever a user type something here it will automatically update here and when someone click on the button here we are going to take that title and add that to the array list here so let's connect it connecting is of, of course to a model winding we say v model and we give it the name we have here title now this property here is connected with the input here whatever we write here it will directly update it here so how are i'm going to respond to the event when someone click on you call the function of add and it will call this function or this method and this method is going to say this dot what we say to do's dot push and the push function is going to accept a parameter which parameter this dot title basic example we say push it means you can add a value to the list here for now if you do not write this dot we say something to do if you save it for now let's see if the function this is going to work if you let's say add click on the add to list it is going to add our text here so what we are going to do is we are going to add whatever we write here to the list here so how you do that one you come here and instead of the value here we say this dot title which refer to the title we have here whatever user in input here it will update the title and it will push it to the array we have so for now if i give it a hard reload to remove all the old information and we say go to work please press on the at list it will add it here record video most importantly yeah it will add it here and it will repeat the same thing also so this is the basic example of to do but you got the idea of how you can combine those stuff together you can handle the click event you can add something to the list here you can for now if we do not have any option to remove something to edit something we will add those stuff in the future of course we can clear the input here whenever you type something it should clear that out how you do that, that one you can say this the title equal to empty does it work let's see if i refresh the page we have no to do list just go to shop okay record video you click on the add list it will empty that one nothing happened okay <laughs> this is because we should not empty that before we add it to the list so it should be after that yeah one of the mistakes so let's say go to work click on the add to list yeah it will work just fine and it will empty it out so what if you want to handle it using the enter user type something press enter it should add it to the list we have already uh, discussed about the events uh, this is the click event button here you can add another event to the input here at you know how you can you can add the event so at key up you can use the event modifier you say dot whenever you write something you say even our event modifier is enter whenever someone press the enter you can call any function you can call this function
and that's this much simple if I come to my application you refresh the page let's say you write something okay write letter enter yes it will add it it will empty it out it will work just fine now both we will work you type something click on the button work you type something press enter it is also going to work so that was the basic example of to do there are more things to add like you can have a tick mark of did you do this one or not or can you remove them from list we will discuss all of them in future uh, but this was just the basic of uh, combining multiple features of Vue.js together and I hope it has been informative for you. Thank you for watching.